Hello everyone, this is Sadi Latif Khan and you are watching my channel Learning for All. And today I am going to talk about that why activity based method and use of AVA is important in our daily classrooms. Activity method is a such technique that teaches the teachers activity ke zariye apne teaching method par emphasize karti hai. Students in activities may involve hote hain jisse inki learning mein isafa hota hai. इसीलिए इसे चाइल्ड सेंटर्ड अप्रोच भी कहा जाता है यह पढ़ाने का एक ऐसा तरीका या मेथड है जिसमें बच्चे मेंटली और फिजिकली दोनों तरह से इन्वॉल्व होते हैं एक क्लासरूम में مختلف ذہانتوں یا انٹیلیجنسز کے بچے بیٹھے ہوتے ہیں کچھ بچے دیکھ کر سیکھتے ہیں جنہیں ہم ویژول لرنرز کہتے ہیں کچھ بچے سن کر سیکھتے ہیں جنہیں آڈیٹری لرنرز کہتے ہیں कुछ पढ़कर सीखते हैं और कुछ बच्चे चीजों को छूकर या बॉडी मूवमेंट से सीखते हैं जिन्हें टैक्टाइल लर्नर या केनेस्थेटिक इंटेलिजेंस के बच्चे भी कहा जाता है इस मेथड का सबसे बड़ा फायदा यह है कि बच्चे के जितने ज्यादा सेंसर्स स्टिमुलेट होंगे इतनी ज्यादा उसकी लर्निंग होगी और उसकी लर्निंग और नॉलेज ज्यादा अरसा तक रिटेन करेगा एक्टिविटी बेस्ड टीचिंग में लर्नर्स ज्यादा इंटरेस्ट दिखाते हैं वो अपने कांसेप्ट को अपनी नीड्स के मुताबिक इंटरनलाइज और इंप्लीमेंट करते हैं एक्टिविटी बेस्ड मेथड का मकसद किसी भी किस्म की लर्निंग जो एक खास सोशल एनवायरनमेंट में हो जिसमें बच्चों के फिजिकल और मेंटल एक्शंस को इन्वॉल्व किया जाए बच्चों के एक्सप्रेशंस और क्रिएटिव एक्शंस को स्टिमुलेट किया जा सके एक्टिविटी बेस्ड लर्निंग में लर्नर्स अपने इर्द-गिर्द के एनवायरनमेंट को इन्वेस्टिगेट करते हैं एंड दे आल्सो मेक सेंसेस ऑफ द वर्ल्ड अराउंड देम इन दिस प्रोसेस ऑफ लर्निंग दे एक्सपीरियंस मेमोराइज एंड अंडरस्टैंड टीचर्स शुड प्रोवाइड डेटा एंड मटेरियल टू स्टूडेंट्स व्हिच इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर फोकसिंग देयर थिंकिंग एंड इंटरेक्शन इन द लेसन फॉर द प्रोसेस of analyzing the information teachers should be involved actively in directing and guiding the students analysis of the information in this method students use problem solving skills to find patterns in the information through their own investigation and analysis in this process students learn not only the content of the lesson but also develop many other skills here we should ask a question to ourselves that why do we need to use activity based learning method it creates creativity in students it also gives reality of learning it provides students with new experience through which they acquire new knowledge experience skills and values it builds students self confidence it also develops their understanding through hands on activities and work activity based learning develops interest improves vocabulary and provides stimulus for reading in these classrooms where activity based method is applied we notice collaboration between students and students and teachers and teachers and activity is also called the language of the child those students who cannot express themselves verbally can use their ideas during the activity Almost all the subjects can be taught through activity it boosts up social relations in the class that provides opportunities to mix with others in modern education system and teaching and learning use of avids in the classroom is becoming more and more popular it is because in the past teachers only used lecture based method where students remained passive uh, during the class these classrooms were teachers centered classrooms where students were supposed to only listen and copy the text from the board educationist criticized this method with the reason that this method does not fulfill the requirement of the child's learning teaching becomes even more challenging when there are students in the class with multiple intelligences mixed abilities with different backgrounds howard gardner says that the teachers should use pluralized teaching that is teaching with different methods it means teaching one thing in different ways 
Teachers should use different teaching material to engage students and enhance their learning. Teachers should also use AVAs in the classroom. It will improve teaching and learning. AVA या audio visual material में sense of vision और sense of hearing को involve किया जाता है. Classrooms में audio visual techniques को use करने से बच्चों की learning ज़्यादा concrete और realistic होती है और AVA का इस्तेमाल teaching और learning को ज़्यादा dynamic बनाता है. There are many objectives and plus points to use AVA in the class. जैसा कि ये बच्चों की understanding और attitude को stimulate करते हैं. बच्चों की understanding में इज़ाफ़ा होता है. और बच्चे किसी भी इंफॉर्मेशन या कांसेप्ट को ज्यादा अरसा अपने ब्रेन में रिटेन कर सकते हैं बाय यूजिंग एवी एड्स इन क्लासरूम्स लर्नर्स रिमेन मोर फोकस्ड एज़ देयर ऑडियो विजुअल कैप्चर देयर अटेंशन इन द रिजल्ट ऑफ इट ट्रांसफर ऑफ लर्निंग बिकम्स पॉजिटिव एवी एड्स आर द बेस्ट सोर्स ऑफ मोटिवेशन बिकॉज़ नॉलेज कम्स इन क्लियर इमेजेस Learning of the students become even more permanent. AVA provide concrete basis for conceptual thinking. Students can enjoy a variety of learning experience through self activities. Now, in modern education system, schools are adopting digital libraries, digital and e-material, and this need was intensely realized during coronavirus pandemic. when thousands of schools were struggling in e-learning or distance learning it is the need of the time to enable the students to use latest technology software applications and visual communication skills to be the successful and updated individuals we need to think over and over and again and again that are we prepared for the future are we preparing our students for the future or are we not pushing them back in the past i hope you will find the answer yourselves let's try to know that what types of avas we can use in our classrooms number 1 pictures we can use simple avas in classrooms to enhance learning of the students for example pictures kisi bhi concept ko padhane ke liye hum is concept se related tasveer ko board par display kar sakte hain ya multimedia projector ke zariye bachchon ko dikha sakte hain jaise picture description ya koi character dikhane ke liye noun ya action word dikhane ke liye ya new words ko samjhane ke liye science urdu history ya geography se related kisi bhi topic की तस्वीर या डायग्राम्स क्लास में डिस्प्ले कर सकते हैं हम इन तस्वीर को बोर्ड पर ड्रा कर सकते हैं पिक्चर को दिखाने से स्टूडेंट्स को कॉन्सेप्ट समझ आने में आसानी होती है और इससे इनमें नॉलेज रिटेंशन भी बढ़ता है टाइमलाइन के जरिए हम ग्रामेटिकल एस्पेक्ट्स को बेहतर अंदाज में पढ़ा सकते हैं हिस्ट्री जैसे सब्जेक्ट्स में भी टाइम का मौसर इस्तेमाल किया जा सकता है शुरू में टीचर्स खुद बच्चों को टाइम लाइन करके दिखाती है इस एक्टिविटी में बच्चों से टाइमलाइन को कॉपीज चार्ट्स या बोर्ड पर ड्रॉ करवाया जाता है एंड द नेक्स्ट इज ग्राफ्स यूज ऑफ ग्राफ्स कैन बी वेरी हैंडी फॉर द लर्निंग ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स पाई चार्ट्स एंड बार ग्राफ्स कैन बी यूज टू शो कंपेरेटिव एंड सुपरलेटिव थ्रू पाई चार्ट एंड बार ग्राफ्स अ टीचर कैन शो पॉपुलेशन इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज द परसेंटेज ऑफ वाटर ऑन अर्थ एंड सो ऑन Next we have YouTube videos. We can also show topic related real or animated video trailers, music videos, movie clips, news, interviews, documentaries and inspiring talks. For developing language skills, these videos can be very useful. All these videos are all accompanied by interactive features and active learning tools for students like flashcards multimedia and fun games and the next one is gap fills we can use gap fills for teaching grammar and the next one is realia realia means real life authentic items for example if you want to teach them about booking a hotel room or admission in school you can ask them to see the brochure or prospectus to work on or observe 
you can show them certain types of realia collections like hotel pamphlet property aids family trees car rental brochures and weather reports here it is very important to remember while using audiovisual aids audiovisual aids should be age appropriate these ads should be meaningful and purposeful they should be simple accurate and cheap aviators should be large enough to be properly seen for the students they should be up to date aviators should be according to the mental level of the students that can motivate and engage students and the next one is posters posters are also effective teaching tools for conveying any idea or object sometimes teacher asks students to make or display posters in the class students show great interest when they have hands on activities and the next one is maps maps are also very effective teaching tool especially for social studies histories and geography classes maps are displayed in the classroom to locate places to show plains rivers mountains cities and countries teachers bachon ko map read karna sikhati hain aur students se apne country ka map bhi banwati hain flash cards flash cards ka istemal bahut hi effective hota hai ecce ki classes mein mukhtalif exams ke flash cards dikhaye jate hain english mein phonics padhane ke liye sight words padhane ke liye ya bachon ki vocabulary ko develop karne ke liye bhi flash cards ka istemal kiya jata hai the next one is puppets montessori ki classes mein puppets ka istemal bahut effective hota hai teachers in puppets ke zariye mukhtalif characters ko present karti hain inke zariye students ko class mein engage kiya jata hai use of puppets makes the classroom colorful and children show great interest towards learning teachers in puppets ke zariye role play karwa sakti hain objects for effective teaching the use of objects is very important teachers use different equipments or materials for sensory experience in the montessori method these objects can also be used in science and geography periods to teach temperature a thermometer can be shown for teaching directions a compass is shown teaching about continents globe can be used by the teachers there are many equipments which can be used for enhancing the learning and for making the lesson effective i hope you like my video if you like it don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can have my more upcoming latest videos till then goodbye and thank you so much